Now, when it comes to Shiba Inu coin, one of the most exciting, I guess, upcoming or anticipated announcements is Shibarium. When will it be released? What's it going to do to the price of Shiba Inu coin? Is this going to be the catalyst that we've all been waiting for? Well, guys, I do believe it's going to be a catalyst, but I believe it's going to be a larger catalyst for Bone than it is for Shiba Inu coin. And we do have some news coming directly from the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem developers out there about the release of Shibarium. Unfortunately, I'm just going to stop you right here. They don't say when. So we'll talk about a little bit, we'll talk a little bit about what they're saying in this article about the potential release but really what it means for bone and people staking bone and there is a big decision to be made so if it sounds like something you're interested in let's get started What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit is going to get you guys six free stocks through their anniversary promo. $1 crypto trade gets you $5 in free crypto. You can choose Shiba Inu coin if you guys want. And then if you guys want $50 in Bitcoin, you've got a link in the description for Voyager. Extremely simple to set up your account as well. You're going to get $50 in Bitcoin for making a $100 trade, and then you can actually earn up to 14 plus percent interest just by holding your crypto on that exchange. You don't have to stake it, lock it, anything like that. But guys, let's go ahead and jump into Shibarium. I know everybody wants to know when it's going to be released. Here's what the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem team has said about that. It's rather disappointing, but hey, man, they don't give us anything until it's actually released anyway. So... What they said is that we see there's a lot of misinformation floating around out there. People speculating about Shibarium going to be released in the near term. It's, it's inevitable. It's right around the corner and so on. Well, if anybody from the, I guess, ecosystem team is watching, it's because you guys have been saying Shibarium will be released soon since like January. <laughs> so I don't know what your definition of soon is, but a lot of people assume that soon means less than seven months so you know give us something right that's all we ask for is give us something but the shiba inu coin ecosystem team has said don't trust anybody but them if somebody says something even if it's an educated guess hypothesis it's it's great don't trust anything unless it comes directly from them so take that what or for what you will and go along with that. They're not giving us any dates. They're not giving us any progress updates. They're not telling us how X Fund or any of the developers are are doing and working on Shibarium. So it's just be quiet and wait till it happens. Um, there is a much bigger decision to be made, though. Okay, and that has to do with the bone rewards. Now, I see a ton of people getting excited on Twitter and on social media platforms about bone. And I believe that they should, right? Shibarium is not a Shiba Inu coin layer two blockchain. Shibarium is a bone layer two blockchain that will be accessible or mapped out for Shiba Inu coin as well. So really quick, I want to discuss layer two so we get a better understanding of what it is. Just simply, very simply. Layer 2 simply is, is a blockchain built on top of the Ethereum network. Right now, Shiba Inu coin, Bone, all of these tokens trade on Ethereum. If you build this Layer 2 blockchain, you're essentially allowing yourselves, I mean, think about it like an expressway or something. If, you, if you're driving, traffic's congested, you take another road, man. Maybe you go right up top and boom, that road is it's empty. You can go as fast as you want. Transactions can happen faster. There's more transactions can, that can happen because nothing is congested and, and the transactions can happen cheaper because everything associated with Ethereum right now is so extremely expensive. So what happens is any coins that are mapped out, any coins that are mapped out for Shibarium, the layer two network here, can be traded on Shibarium. It doesn't have to be just Shiba Inu coin. It doesn't have to be just Bone and so on. It's whatever is mapped out for that. So a lot of people, and here's where the, the confusion kind of sets in, right? The Shiba Inu coin ecosystem development team, they understand that there's only a couple thousand people that, that are interested in, in hold Bone. But there's several million people that are interested in Shiba Inu coin. And, and they're using it as a marketing opportunity. 
It is a layer two solution for bone. Bone is the gas token, and here's where it gets interesting. You will need bone to be a validator on the proof of stake network. Now, here's where this, I don't want to be confusing to anybody. Proof of work is like Bitcoin. You've got a miner out there, that miner sends your code, and it validates the blockchain. Proof of stake is a little bit different. It's kind of algorithmic, and you lock your coins away. And when you lock these coins away, I guess you're given, and I haven't studied blockchain, proof of stake blockchains too much, but in essence, when you solve that problem with your staked coins, you earn rewards on that. Now, the Shiba Inu coin ecosystem team, they want to set aside 20 million bone in order to reward the validators that are going to be out there on Shibarium because validators are important because, you know, they're the only thing that is offering security for Shibarium. I thought that the security came from the the layer one. I thought security came from Ethereum's network. I thought the, you know, the... Uh, the diversification and the, all of the security came from Ethereum, but <laughs> apparently not. Apparently it's not secure if we don't have validators on the layer two. So 20 million bone, roughly eight to $10 million at current prices are going to be set aside for these validators. Now there's a decision to be made. Do we mint an additional 20 million bone to pay for this, do we increase the maximum capacity from 250 million bone tokens to 270 million bone tokens? Or do we cap the current bone rewards in Shiba Swap and everybody that is staking their Shiba Inu coin are, are they're going to be cut off? They're not going to be getting any more bone rewards. Do we cut that off at 230 million so we can allocate 20 million towards Shibarium validators? Here's the thing it, it, it gets very interesting. Number one, People who are interested in buying Bone like the fact that it has a very small, I guess, total coin outstanding. It can reach these higher prices. Now, if we have control of the contract like that, where we can just continue to mint and mint and mint, and well, okay, well, we had 270 million, but we've already we've already gone through all of these rewards now. You know, the price fell more than we thought it would, and we have to allocate more money to it, so now we got 500 million. Uh, well, you know what? We, we've added some new developers to the team. We got Marcy Jastro and some of these uh, high paid consultants over there. Our attorney wants some more money, so we have to mint some more bone. And it dilutes the bone holders down and down and down and down. Guys, that is the beauty of Shiba Inu coin and, and the destruction of a lot of these other tokens that are out there. When you can continually mint, and I understand that it goes through a doggy dow system where all of the bone T bone holders, not just bone holders, but you have to be staking, you have to lock up your bone. All of these bone holders, these T bone holders out there are the ones that make that decision. Well, it is decision time. They're getting that out there right now. If you guys own T bone and you want to make that decision, whether to cap rewards at 230 million for everybody that is currently locked and staked in Shiba Swap, or if you want to increase the, the total coins outstanding for bone from 250 to 270 million, the decision is yours. I am, let me just voice my frustration a little bit right now. This is where, ecosystem teams become ecosystem teams and, and and you know it's it's oh man i don't like it i don't like it okay shiba inu coin is a beautiful coin no single authority over it nobody owns it it's nice that the ecosystem team is trying to build a foundation around it but man i am glad that we do not have to to deal with additional mints more than a quadrillion coins coming into circulation and all of this. It's actually really impressive, this meme coin status of Shiba Inu coin, and I want to keep it that way. The, the, <laughs> the developers out there, man, offering a zero information and at the same time trying to mint millions of dollars worth of new coins is getting a little fishy. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. If this button right here is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Claybro83 on Twitter and Instagram. You got Voyager, $50 in Bitcoin. Weeble, six free stocks. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.